hey guys it's me sean and today i'm gonna show you how to run windows on your mac so you don't need to boot into windows or specifically boot into mac you can run both windows and mac operating systems side by side there's a specific program that you need to run i'm gonna show you how to run it and install it so this program is called parallels desktop i've already downloaded it and um, the link is in the description so we're just gonna go ahead and run it and open it up so we can install the program on my Mac right now. So you click it, you run it. There's an install button at the bottom right here. You double click it, double tap it, however you have your settings run. And you'll see here that it, the installation have begun. Just let it run for a few seconds. It will open up shortly. enter your mac password administrator password to ensure that you want to install this this new program mm, i will select no i don't really like to con participate in these programs and here you have it parallels wizard so right now you can install windows fresh from your windows installation disk or import your previous version of windows from a pc you can also install windows 10 you have a developer preview chrome os or hold on let me just slide across you can also run android os or install os x so you can basically run any operating system using this program well, today I'm just going to show you how to run Windows on this, on your device. So let's just go. We're going to install a clean version of Windows. Now here you have the option of installing it from a DVD or if you have downloaded the image file from Microsoft or if you have a bootable USB flash drive, you have these three options to install Windows or whatever OS you desire onto your Mac. The installation I'm going to run today will be from an image file. So we'll just go ahead and select that, open up the file where I have it saved in my computer and it's currently loading. Uh, many of you might expect Windows 8 but I'm a fan of Windows 7 so we're just going to install that, press continue. Just going to skip enter in a product key for now. Now here's an important part, based on what you will be using Windows 4 you will have an option of selecting predetermined settings for your windows installation if you're just a basic pc user you will uh, use productivity that's just to run microsoft office and other general basic stuff if you're a gamer then you will select gaming settings or if you are a developer you will also select the developer settings so the setting you will select right now is dependent on what you intend on using this windows installation for let's continue now you select where you want the installation to be installed and you can also specify the name we continue and then that should start the installation for those of us familiar with basic windows setup or basic windows installation this screen will look familiar windows is now copying the files from the disk or image file to your hard drive to better run the installation so we just let it run and as shown here in this particular window windows is already running the windows installation is running and that's the same window that windows itself will operate from um it's fairly simple you just need to select which operating system well which version of windows 7 you want to install or if you have a different version of windows select which version as you can see here setup is starting and i'm going to select windows 7 ultimate the 64-bit version it's the most powerful version of windows and yeah just want to test it out on my mac so windows is copying the files and the installation have begun now i'm just gonna throw out a few pointers this screen can be closed at any point and windows will stop run to simply reopen it you go in your well as you can see there's a windows 7 shortcut now on my desktop 
So anytime I want to run Windows 7, I will just double click that shortcut and Windows 7 window will pop up. It will pop up like any normal application. Once in there, you'll be able to run anything as normal as you would have on a PC. Installation is completing. Your device is just, well, not the device, but the window is just going to reboot. <laughs> the window, Windows is going to reboot. Sorry, I was just trying to be funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyhow, so that system just restarted and Windows is starting up. So right now it is it will start up. The setup will continue. It will test your graphics, it will prepare your desktop, etc. And we're just gonna let it run for a few seconds. I must note though if you have any questions, I'm gonna leave a link for contacting me at the bottom. Well in the description. All you gotta do is click that link, go to my website and complete the form to send me an email or send me feedback or to even request clarification of anything. Anything you need, just contact me and I will respond and I will upload a video for you if necessary. And yeah, let's just, yeah, you see it, setup is continuing. It's restarting again starting windows and i think that's where it should prepare it for first use voila set up is preparing your computer for first use so right now it's easy as one two three you just gotta click next when the updates come up and yeah use recommended settings and then that should be it you're already connected to the Wi-Fi, copy your Wi-Fi settings, copy your profile settings, so no need to create any of that. And that's about it. As I said a while ago, if you have any questions, just visit my website and click contact us. Send me that email, complete that form, send me your feedback, it's greatly appreciated. I will make a follow-up video on how to configure Windows because you can dedicate certain parts of your memory to this installation of Windows. By default, I think mine gave one gig, but I can show you how to increase that. And as you can see here, the start menu looks normal. Everything's running. Go to my computer. You'll see uh, your C drive. You can go ahead and open that up. And you will see program files, program files 86, users, windows, just like on your PC. Now go on to my computer, open up settings, and voila. Here you have it, Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit operating system. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check out these videos as well and learn how to reset or restore a disabled or locked iPhone, iPod, or iPod Touch, which you do not know the passcode for or you forgot the passcode for. Also learn how to get rid of this screen on your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch when it asks to connect to iTunes, how to get rid of this red or blue logo on your device. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.